guys thank you for joining me in my channel my name is Anne and this is urban glamping today I'm going to do a January collective haul video I just came back from the garden center uh, in Franklin and I was able to find some plants that I want and I'm uh, going to show you all those plants today and since I'm gonna do that I'm going to include all other plants that I got uh, in January that's why this um, video is called a collective haul but before we get started if you're not already subscribed hit that button down below and if you love this video please give a huge thumbs up with that being said let's get started so the first plant I'm going to show you is uh, the plant that I got from Walmart uh, beginning of the month and this is this plant it is the syndapsus trubii moonlight um i got this for 17 dollars and um i have i actually got two of these there you goes so i have um two of these syndapsus trubii moonlight The next one I'm going to show you, this plant, um, I added it uh, in this video, although I didn't buy this one. It is this um, Calathea Rose Optica Dotty. This one, um, it was sent to me by mistake by a seller uh, in eBay. I actually bought an Aglonema. Unfortunately, there was mix up in my order, so she sent this one to me. I reached out to her. Uh, you know, I informed her that she sent this plant by mistake. And I actually want, I really love to have the Aglonema in my collection. So she was kind enough to send me the Aglonema and uh, told me to just skip this plant. This is a beautiful plant. I already have actually two of these. So this is the third one in my collection so I'll just uh, I just decided to keep this plant maybe I could give it to a friend later so this is the Calathea Rose Optica Dotty and um, the next one is that Aglonema that I got from the eBay seller this one so this she called this Aglonema Anyamani. It is a beautiful plant. I like the pink color. Sometimes um, it gives you a light pink and then a darker pink. So there's just different color in this plant, which makes uh, this plant really, really beautiful. So like this plant here, it has a the darker um shade of red and then here is a light uh, lighter one but this one is like very light pink it's an aglonema anyamani so there's that and the next one that i'm gonna show you is my monstera siltipicana which i got from uh, St steve's leaves this one is in a three inch pot it is a beautiful beautiful plant i actually have two of this uh i or also ordered two of this monstera siltipicana they are so beautiful they just got here a couple of days ago they're still uh recovering from shipping they are staying now in my uh mills bow cabinet i just took them out for uh this video so after this video, they're going to go back to the Millsbo cabinet because, you know, I'm still waiting for this plant to get adapted to their new environment. So that's my Monstera Siltipicana. The next plant I'm going to show you um, is a plant that I got from 
the garden center in Franklin. It's the Hewitt Garden Center. They have actually a lot of beautiful plants to choose from. The first one I'm going to show you is this. Um, it's a big plant. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. This is called Tenante Lubertiana. It is in a gallon pot and it really really full it is a beautiful beautiful plant i think this is called tenante setosa golden mosaic never never plant it's really beautiful so that's the first one that i got today the next one is this is ficus benhalensis aubrey so it's still small it's beautiful i just love this velvety and leather like leaf of this aubrey it's beautiful so this is ficus bengalensis aubrey that's the second one that i got today the third one that i got from hewitt is this lipstick plant black pagoda I, um i think i don't know if i'm uh, i'm pronouncing this one right it's acinanthus longicaulis anyway let's just call it the lipstick plant black pagoda i love the leaf of this plant it has that purple splashes on the leaves it is so beautiful the black pagoda lipstick plant so the next one that i got from hewitt is this epipremnum arium shangrila it is in a three inch pot it's really really beautiful they are so it is so unique i just love how these leaves are curled like that it's so beautiful it is so unique it's stunning and then the next one that i got is this one it is peperomia caperata frost it's beautiful the silver color of the leaves is just so gorgeous and of course the leaves are just beautiful they are rubber like it's very pretty the peperomia caperata frost So the next one that I got from you with is this one. It's Spotify Loom Variegated Domino. It is beautiful. The leaves of this plant is like crunched. It is like crumpled. It's not smooth. It has some corrugation. The texture of the leaf, leaves is just beautiful. It is very unique. So it's it's not smooth. It's actually kind of rough. And there's those splashes of white on the leaves. It almost looks like, you know, that Shangri-La. It's beautiful. So I got this one. And... um. I think that's all I got from Hewitt. The next one is uh, from Lowe's and it is Manjula, Manjula Photos. There you go. Actually got two of these. It is this Manjula Photos. They are beautiful. I just love that heart shaped leaves and of course 
these splashes of uh, the leaves is just so beautiful. The leaves are just wavy. It is just stunning. And uh, of course, since we were in Franklin already, we went also to Home Depot and I found this, or we found this Aglionema. I'm not really sure the exact variety of this Aglionema, but it is, I just want to add this in my collection. I, I just love Aglionema. The different colors are just so uh, beautiful. The leaves are stunning. They just have different varieties of aglomenema that, I don't know, there's just something with aglomenema that gets me all the time. So, it's very beautiful. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you love this video, please give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and um, hit that notification button so you will get notified when my next video is up. I'll see you all next time.